Hi, crafty friends. Have you guys ever tried to have like that faux crackle finish? Well, that's what we're gonna do here with just regular old white glue, that little bottle I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm also taking these little palettes that I got from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna put a coat of paint on them um, all the way around, front and back, in between the slits, all the things. <laughs> So it does take a little bit to get through those. But um, once those are completely dry, you need to make sure that your paint is nice and dry when we do this. Um, so what we'll do is we will just brush on that white glue. So I'm just going to brush it right on top. And then once that's done, this is where the magic of all of this starts to kind of come together. So you don't want that glue to dry all the way. You instantly wanna go over with your top coat of paint. So we're gonna go right over that wet glue and we're just gonna put a layer of um, the top coat. Now, I think this works best when your bottom coat is darker and then your top coat is, you know, lighter. Um, I don't know how good it would work otherwise. So then I'm just using my hair dryer and this is where the magic, look at that. Look at that crackle coming out. This is where it starts to happen. Oh, I love when you can watch it in real time. That is so super cool. So one of them, when I was drying it, it kind of like crackled a different way. It was so cool watching how all four of them kind of came together. So then I'm just gonna kind of hit my edges on some of them um, where the I got the paint all the way to the end. I just wanted to add um, a little bit there of uh, sanding because you know, I like things to be all like old looking and I love this crackle finish so much. So if you haven't tried this, definitely the next time you're out, grab some white glue or maybe you already have some in your craft stash and give this a try because it's such a cool, fun uh, distressing technique. All right, so once we kind of get this where we want it, um, listen, I could do that for days. I'm going to take an ink pad. We're gonna add like another layer. This is that one I was talking about. Look how it made it like chunky in some spots. Ooh, I love it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna add just a little bit um, here and there, just like that next level. I love layers, uh, especially when you're like antiquing and having that crackle finish. So we'll just kind of do that. And this is kind of a rust color. And I just, oh, I love that one. That's my favorite one so far. <laughs> Because again, they're all just different. All right, so now we're just going to hot glue it all together and we're just going to make a box-ish shape out of this because I guess it would be more of like a rectangular box. Um, and then we'll just set a, a flower, a pot uh, down right inside of it. And really, you guys, I'm just thinking we could do this with a lot of different pieces of wood. But look how stinking cool this turned out. You would never know that's from Dollar Tree. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Follow for more.